Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome back in our Microsoft New Partner Program video series. In this video, we are going to talk about Solutions Partner for Modern Work. Right? This is the one of the competency within the Microsoft New Partner Program. Well, here is the agenda of our video. So in this video, we will be going to talk about uh, what is the uh, modern work competency is, what are the benefits, what are the requirement, what are the consideration for solution partner, uh, if they really want to get the modern work competency, how to upgrade their existing competencies, what are the specialization they can take from the Microsoft or what are the requirement uh, to be the specialized in that in the modern work competencies and then what are the technical requirement for these competencies to, uh, to get from the Microsoft what are the metrics what are the numbers or what are the growth or development uh, numbers you need to reach uh, to gain this competency from the Microsoft right so let's quickly jump to the introduction so Microsoft introducing the new partner program designation right and uh, this partner uh, program is basically uh, have the six solution areas aligned to the how Microsoft going to the market by attaining the solution area designation you can demonstrate your organization capabilities in delivering the customer success in the solution area this new model provide two qualification levels first is a solution, a solution partner which is a very basic level and the second one is the specialist and the expert like it is a very advanced level so so with the these competencies you can have a two levels right and to reach on these two levels you need to go with the different different path you need to go with the different different metrics as a solution partner for the modern work you demonstrate your broader capability to help customers boost their productivity and make the shift to the hybrid work using the m365 becoming a solution partner for the modern work gives a customer a way to identify you as a partner that has both to commit uh, but that has both the commitment to training and has delivered the solution that lead to the customer success so what are the benefit right with this new competencies microsoft is investing more in you and microsoft want you to grow your business and reward you for the success and the growth you achieve and continue commitment to your our partnership right so you might be thinking about why microsoft is investing in the partner because if a partner is going to grow or a customer is going to grow definitely microsoft is going to get a biggest benefit for the that right so microsoft is making these investments to help you and the partner with increasing the business development increasing the customer reach and expanding the skills training and the enablement right so these are the three uh, uh, things which microsoft is helping to you now there is a few important date you need to keep in mind by september 30 2020 you need to renew your legacy competencies for the modern work if you have if you don't renew it by October 3rd, 2022, newer solution partner designation will be available for attend and legacy com competency will no longer valid, right? So you still have a time, right? There. If you renew your legacy competency on 30 September 2020, you still can use it for the next one year, right? Else, if you forget to renew, you will automatically enroll to the newer partner program from 3rd October 2022 2022 uh, onwards what are the requirement right so each uh, categories which is performance skill and customer success have the points and you reach to you need to reach on that specific point uh, to gain this newer competency right as a solution partner for the modern work, you demonstrate your broader capability to help customers boost their productivity and make the shift to hybrid work using the M365. These categories make up the framework of the solution partner designation, which are performance, skill, and the customer success. 
to attain a solution partner designation you will need to earn a minimum of 70 points uh, with a greater than zero point in each subcategories out of the possible 100 points that are available right and this each categories have their own metrics which you need to reach to gain this point right for the performance you can go 30 points for the skills you can go 40 points for the customer success you can go 30 point right these are the point and you need you can gain total 70 point out of these three categories uh, to attain or to to get the solution partner for the modern work competency consideration right so who can apply or who can basically go for the modern work competency right deploying diving adoption of and managing the m365 app services to help customer work learn organize organize connect and create empowering the personal computer with development and modern management service for windows 10 and m365 implementing driving the adoption of and managing the microsoft team microsoft team device microsoft team rooms to help customer help customers communicate collaborate with the chat messaging and calls delivering the service and solution to digitally enable customer frontline workers delivering employee experience service and solutions for microsoft viva to help customers harness knowledge and expertise amplify the culture and the communication accelerate skills and growth or balance productivity and well-being building a custom app and the solution on m365 platform to meet the specific need of your customers right so these are the some of the considerations for the partner whoever the partner doing all of this three all of these things are considered considerable for the modern work competency or can consider their self for the modern work competency how to upgrade their existing competency right so it's pretty much simple if you have uh, any legacy competencies like cloud productivity collaboration communications messaging small and mid market cloud solution windows and device you can simply simply upgrade your competency to solution partner for the modern work and with this one you will be going to get a new customer facing batch as shown at the right side in this presentation right now how you can earn the specializations right so the the the, the, the last slides which we talk about is specifically for getting the modern work competency now how you can get the specialization in the modern work competency with the newer partner program right by earning the specializations aligned to modern work solution area partner will gain the prioritize access to additional program resources and support examples are microsoft cloud acceleration program which fund delivery of the partner led workshop to create the customer intent to purchase and deploy engineering support partner communities which provide the partner with information on the product roadmap and deep tra technical training incubations program to test the partner deployment and go to market approach for new microsoft n365 app and the services so with the specialization all of these benefits you will be going to get from the microsoft right once you attain solution partner designation and maintain your earned specialization starting in october 2022 you will also have the access to incremental ben product benefit to further accelerate your business including greater access to azure credit additional product license to build test demo pilot and create the proof of concept to showcase and sell your solution to the customer and cloud service subscription that are most relevant in market today right so these are the things you will be going to get once you have started uh, attain your solution partner program from october 2022 onwards right so, so the, the, these are the things uh, which you will be going to get in a specializations or uh, these are the benefits you will be going to get as a specialization when you are having a specialization for the modern work. 
what are the technical requirement right this is a very important things uh, because with this technical uh, requirement you will only you, or you will only able to get uh, the tag for microsoft solution partner for modern work which is uh, fall under the new competency a solution partner for the modern work have dem has demonstrated a broader capability to help boost their productivity and make the shift to hybrid work using the m365 to earn this designation your partner capability score must be meet the qualification requirement for this area you need a minimum of 70 point out of a possible 100 to attain a solution partner designation this secure is measured in three categories which is partner performance scaling and the customer success and is informed by data that is already recorded into the partner center it's a very important thing the all of your records should be recorded into the partner center right if your part if your records are not recorded into the partner center you are not legible for all of these points you will not get these points right and what are the uh, the categories is there performance categories skill categories in the skill categories you have a two skill categories if you go for the intermediate certificate or if you go for the advanced certificate right as I told you if you really want to go for the specialization you need to go for all the advanced certification right for the customer success you have a two subcategories users growth what is your users growth is and what is your deployment growth is right so these are the categories or these are the criteria which record on the uh, partner center you can track your progress toward attaining the solution partners for modern work designation in the partner center now what are the performance category is right so in a performance category the the numbers is matter for how many net customer you have added for modern work in the number of qualifying the workload added to your customer base during the last 12 month right that is fall under the performance so what is the calculation is going to be right net customer add equal to total qualifying current customer tenants uh, minus total qualifying customer tenant 12 months ago so let's take an example right if you have a five tenants last year and this year you only have added a two tenant or three tenant right in last 12 months Microsoft is going to calculate all of those to see if you are still reaching to those numbers right so there is a certain limits uh, to have have the uh, the 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 customers like the, the minimum is you need to add is five if you add the five net new customers you will be going to get a 20 points for the performance category right if you are adding a four in that case you will not be going to get any point for those this category so again the minimum is going to five uh, you need to add a five net new customer to gain the 20 point from the performance categories right so what are the leasable workloads in tune pro plus spo teams pins meeting teams phone calling teams platform and yammers are legible workload for the performance on the modern work competency uh, what are the maximum point you can earn you can earn 20 points for adding of new net new customers scoring each customer you are adding will give you four point for up to a maximum 20 point for four, five customer legible criteria uh, for a subscription to consider for the metrics this must be active at the time of evaluation sorry time of evaluations tenant with paid available units for at least one legible workload must be greater than 300 right so you should have a five tenant added in the last 12 month and those five ten should have more than 300 licenses from up from all of these five tenants from the legible workloads like teams microsoft meetings team phone call team platform yammer pro plus spo exo and intune right they are either 
claimed by you or associate with you as a partner right so either they have purchased from you as a csp partner or either you have added your depot which is a digital partner of record into the subscription then you will be eligible for the for the get the point under the performance category uh, eligibility association so yes there is a two eligibility association is first the depot is the one of uh, the widely used uh, where you basically add your m pin into the customer subscription where you uh, in that way that basically act as a you are managing that subscription which is called a depot digital partner of record second one is cpor which is a claiming the partner of record so these are the two things uh, uh, which is fall under the eligible association type workload same as mentions intune exchange proplas sharepoint team team calling team phone platform are all of those are the 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 eligible workloads threshold to earn maximum point so as so earlier we are talking about the enterprise customer now we are talking about the smb customer so smb eligibility path is provide maximum 20 number for 10 new net cost 10 net new customers each new customer add you a two points for up to maximum 25 from the 10 customers for a subscription considered to be for this metric must be active at the time at the time of evaluation and tenant should have a paid licenses at least 10 to 300 in any of the eligible criteria or eligible workload in all of these 10 tenants or either they are claimed by or associated with you using the depot or uh, or the csp record right what are the eligible type it should be claiming the partner record or it should be the csp so these are the performance uh, categories or the eligibilities or the score you have so for the enterprise you need to add a five new customers where you should have active 300 licenses in at least a one tenant second one is which is for smb where you can gain get maximum 20 point for and but then you need to add a 10 that new customer and in this 10 net new customer uh, at least 10 100 to sorry 10 to 300 active unit licenses should be there from the legible workload so next is scaling right the scaling category measures your organization skill and capability by using the number of persons who have a legible certification each person with the legible certification earn your organization point toward the scaling the designation but they can't earn more points by completing the more certification there are two attainment paths small and mid business and the enterprise there are two certificate metrics advanced for which one is legible for enterprise administrator expert and the second was is intermediate for which five set which five certificate are legible for uh, uh, for the points to fulfill the requirement uh, to have more than zero point in each matrix your organization must have at least a one qualifying person within uh, with the intermediate certificate and the same person and the same person or different person with the advanced certificates so these are the thing so uh, your person should have uh, uh, all of these the required licenses from the intermediate or the advanced category to get the point under the skilling category right so certificate certified person required to earn the maximum of 25 in the skilling category so if you have an enterprise path you should have four certified person if you have uh, advanced certifications in which you will get a 15 point you should have a two certified person right if you are small and mid business path you should have a two certified person and for the intermediate and for the advanced you should have a one person certified now what are the certificate eligible for intermediate and the advanced for the intermediate matrix it's fundamental team application developer associate team administrator administrator associate messaging administrator associate modern desktop administrator associate so these are the certification which is going to be fall under the intermediate matrix 
for the advanced metrics enterprise administrator expert is the certificate which is going to be fall under the advanced certification where you will be going to get a maximum 15 points under the skilling category customer success which is the major and more focused toward how your customer is deploying or using the microsoft product the customer success category measures your ability to enable the growth into the use of microsoft products or in the expansion of microsoft services and the workload utilized by the customer there are two metrics in the customer success category first is use users growth metrics and second one is the deployment metrics users growth metrics this customer success metrics measure your ability to grow the users and the consumption of our qualifying products you earn the point for these metrics based on growth into monthly active active uses across all your qualified paid customer and the workload right so how the calculation is going to be happen a uh, users growth is equal to sum of monthly active uses in the last month uh, divided by sum of monthly active user in last 12 month ago divided by sum of monthly active user at the time the workload or customer was claimed by or associated with the partner if the claim or associate is occurred during the past 12 month right so this is this is the calculation is going to be happen now what are the eligible workload as the same as into the uh, into the performance yammer intune exchange proplus sharepoint team team calling team phone team platform all of these are the eligible workload what are the eligible associations are uh, it's d4 and c4 both are the uh, the eligible associations uh, which can uh, uh, fall under the users growth matrix criteria should be tenant should have a paid active units licenses for at least one workload must be greater than 300 for the enterprise customer for a subscription to be considered for this metric it must be active at the time of evaluation right this is for the enterprise customer you should have a 300 active user into the into the these tenants with the paid available unit it should not be uh, trial or it should not be free licenses right threshold to maximum point right threshold to earn the maximum point in the smb eligibility you can earn point for users growth based on the association type two option has been created c4 and csp each option have a different threshold you get the different point for each option based on your performance and gauge this threshold qualifying point for users growth is higher for the point opted for two new options which is a c4 and csp with the cpo uh, you should have a 500 active users with csp you should have a maximum 2000 monthly active users right monthly active users right a uh, threshold to earn the maximum point in the enterprise eligibility path you get the point for users growth based on the association type there's a two uh, options has been created which is a c4 and d4 each option have a different thresholds you can get the points for each option based on your performance against the thresholds qualifying point for users growth is higher for the point obtained for from the two option uh, which is a c4 and d4 for the c4 it should have a 1000 active users or uh, for the d4 it should have a 4000 active users right so these are the threshold value to earn the maximum point for smb and the enterprise customer now the deployment matrix this matrix is the customer success category measure your ability to grow the deployment of our m365 service you earn the point for this matrix based on the growth in the, in the deployment of eligible workload with the minimum monthly users level what are the calculation and how the calculation is going to be happen deployment is equal to total qualifying deployment in last month minus total qualified deployment in 12 month ago minus total qualifying deployment associated during the last 12 month so
so this is the calculation which is going to be happen there the proceeding calculation exclude the deployment that claimed or associated within the last 12 month or were already greater than 40 percent the time of claim and the association uh, so what are the eligible workload are there same as uh, performance and uh, users uh, metric in tune exchange propeller sharepoint team team calling team meeting team platform yammer so what are the eligible associations are which is a depot and c4 eligible criteria tenant uh, should have active paid units for at least a one eligible workload must have greater than 300 monthly active users should have or should be more than 40 percent of paid active units in the given month when the evaluation is happened so what are the threshold for the maximum point right so let's start with the enterprise in the enterprise uh, eligibility path you can get the point for deployment based on the association type uh, the two options has been created c4 and d4 each option have a different threshold based on your performance again these threshold you get the different points to for the each option qualifying point for deployment is higher for the point opt-in for the two option which is a c4 and d4 for the c4 you need to have a five net new customer for d4 you need to have a 10 net new customer right the next one is the smb so in the assembly usability path you can uh, you get the points for deployment based on the association type and there is a two association has been created which is a c4 and the csp each option have a different thresholds you get the different point for each option based on your performance against the threshold qualifying point for the deployment is higher for the point opt-in for the two option which is a c4 and csp and uh, the value is same uh, for the c4 you need to have a five net new customer and for the csp you need to have a 10 net new customer under the deployment to get the maximum 20 points for the deployment metric well that's it in this video i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you Thank <laughs> you.